The art of creating, the aspect of entertaining, the feeling of connecting with strangers around the world, the gratification of being able to heal and the humility to provide happiness to those who seek out your work. These are the reasons why I, Marcus Schultz, found myself immersed in music. An artist album encompasses all of these reasons, creating pieces that will establish your legacy long after you've departed. Pieces that will touch emotions in ways interpreted by those who listen. This is the story of my fifth artist album, Scream 2. A story that began as a brainstorm just over a year ago, but has reached deadline day. I got uh, I got in last night. Good parties. Uh, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't I can't tonight, man. I've got a deadline. I got to get this album finished. Okay. Uh, when do you leave again? Um, I leave uh, tomorrow. I gotta leave tomorrow. Hey, I gotta run, man. I got I got my manager on the other line. Okay. Later. No All right. Hello. Can Hello. What is the Um, I'm on my way to the office now. And uh, it'll be finished. Um, I'm not. I'm not leaving the office till it's done. Uh, come on. Hey, listen. It'll be done by the time you wake up tomorrow. All right. We can't. We can't wait tomorrow. It has to be tonight. It will be. It will be done by the time you wake up. It'll be in your inbox. I'm pulling an all-nighter. Listen. I. I don't want to send it off until it's perfect. You'll have it when. By the time you wake up. You will have the album finished. You'll have it in your okay. in your inbox, all right? I wake up incredibly early. All right, it'll be done. Okay. All right, later. What's up, guys? About to go into the Cold Harbor Studios. As you heard, I gotta get the album finished today. At the, tonight at the very latest. Anyway, let's go. Let's get to work. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's going on? This is the team, the Cold Harbor team right here. All right, yeah. that's Mike. Mike handles all of the SMG bookings, Coma, Mr. Pitt, Beat Service, Mike Push, Grubino Sepien, uh, Adina Butar, and Cold Harbor Night. This is Denzo. Denzo handles all the promos for uh, and organizes all the music for Global DJ Broadcast. So when you send in a request for Global DJ Broadcast, he gets the emails and makes sure everything gets sorted for me. Sarah does all the in-house videos. Hello. The, all the videos you see on the YouTube channel, as well as, you know, uh, sometimes you see the uh, um, videos behind me on the LED screens at the gigs with the words and the singers and everything. Sarah handles all that. Timmy, is, uh, he handles the A&R for the, for the label, and he's also my assistant, so he's a, he's a general troublemaker here at the <laughs> office. And this is Heather. She's the, uh, she's the lube that keeps the whole office running. She also instigates the trouble around here. Coma! Oh, how are you doing, man? Oh, you're filming, me. That's cool. I didn't know you were here. Oh, how are you? Hey, you alright? Yeah, I'm very good. Cool. Working some stuff. Cool, Working it's Coma. It's my boy Coma. Hey, how you doing? Everybody. <laughs> alright, I'm gonna be in the studio. Hey. I'll be in there all night. Oh, shit. Dakota, what are you doing? Huh? Wanna work with me? Yeah. Yeah. I remember I used to tweet pictures of him. He was like this tiny. Now look at him. He's like a man. One of the artists that really stands out to me is um, is Liz Primo. Um, you know, I first heard her vocal uh, on a demo, and I was just blown away. Ah, nice pun there. But it was just there was something about her voice, something about the track, something or, or the, the the lyrics and 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 the way she sang it that it just it captivated me. Marcus is an amazing producer. He's had hits all over the world, and I'm very honored to be a part of this project. And very happy to be part of his new single. The song Blown Away was inspired by a friend of mine who was addicted to cocaine 
and the original song, you know, is a little bit slower, but Marcus's mix brought a whole new life to the song, and I absolutely love it. Hi, I'm Liz Primo, and you're listening to Blown Away with Marcus Schultz. You know, Blown Away for me is a very special song. Uh, I first met Liz and man, I, I, I loved her voice. You know, it reminds me a lot of Lana Del Rey, uh, but when I was working on this track, I really wanted to give it a more of an uplifting feel. And um, the funny thing is when she told me what the song was about um, and just having it a more uplifting feel, uh, it just, it made sense. Face down in the mirror Midnight mascara Down her right Got a new obsession Perfect life My heart goes boom Just a little bit Can't help me now oh, oh. No turning round oh, oh. Blown away Blown away Every time I just fall back in I'm blown I love this track, Blown Away. Um, the melody, the vocals, everything about it just feels fantastic. When the bus tour finished, I was so inspired to get back into the studio, trying to replicate that feeling of euphoria provided by the fans. I gave this track a test run during my Ministry of Sound solo set, and then a week later in Buenos Aires. But it was not perfected until the week of Electric Daisy Carnival. That is where I debuted Remember This to the World. Remember This is a special track, it, it, and that's why um, you know I named it Remember This because it, it did the same thing for me. In um, you know, uh, every time I worked on it, I just got goosebumps because that melody it did it brought back. It, that melody brings back that special feeling that um, you know it, it's almost like a feeling of innocence. You know that that first time that you heard that magical trance melody. I think it's pretty well known now that um, Nothing Without Me um, was, uh, um, is a true story. And so when I was working on Scream 2, I said, you know what, there has to be a sequel to Nothing Without Me as well. Um, so when I started working with Victoria Horn, uh, the idea for e uh, Erase Me came, um, Erase You came out, uh, came out and it was just like the idea of um, you know no matter how hard um, I try I just can't get you out of my head I can't erase you and and just the term erase you was just nice and edgy I just love that what if we make a car reverse um, scene with the audio we have for the new car like da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. Maybe, maybe it sounds good Right? right. So, he gives okay. so, so all we gotta do is just take these exactly. notes and, this. and make them... <coughs> oh it's my you. god! Oh my god! Salud! You know what is salud, right? Yeah, it means cheers. Well, as well, but salud means health. Right, health. Gesundheit. Okay, well, just let's finish this here. You want me to turn on the AC? You're sweating now. I know, I'm sweating. But that's because I just had some tea. They 
say that when you find that special someone, you find happiness. But what if that happiness becomes an obsession? An obsession so overpowering that it drives the other person away, yet it still remains inside of you. Where every thought of every day is directed to what you had, and that feeling of escaping the obsession is impossible. The song is basically about our generation and the trans family, about believing in yourself, standing up for yourself. And then we showed the record to Marcus and he loved it and we were really excited about getting him on the record and collaborating together with him on the record. Yeah, totally. I mean, uh, you know, to get someone like Marcus Schultz on board is, is absolutely huge for us. imagined a day where dance music would engulf every other genre in America. Something I could only fully understand by taking the bus tour to cities that don't get to experience the magnitude of the more established territories or festivals. The new generation are leading the way. This is their time, their moment, their revolution. The rabbit hole, an adventure into the unknown. That point deep into the night where things start to become weird and twisted. You know, the after hours vibe. I'm lucky during my solo set nights to have the ability to entirely direct the mood of a room. But this is something that hasn't come naturally. In order to understand the rabbit hole, however, it is essential to understand the institution that is stereo in Montreal. That is where I brought Destino to the world. many opportunities to work with a, a lot of established uh, singers and, and artists but I just find for me personally I, I get more excitement out of discovering new talent and working with them um, and uh, you know on this one there's there's again there's a lot of new uh, new artists that, that I worked with and um, you know just you know, I, I've achieved so much, so uh, I just want to be able to help other people uh, achieve their dreams. In the Shadows was debuted at the 10th anniversary of Transmission. Did you get excited, anticipated, nervous, kind of knowing that you're debuting something that's at this large of a scale of an event? Yeah, for sure. I was, uh, to be honest, I was nervous. Um, you know, I, I, the track is, um, it, it's, it's a little more melancholy, um, you know, and, and I want it to be that way. But at the same time, um, I wanted to make the track so it does work in a big arena. Um, so here I was in front of, uh, you know, 15, 20,000 people and uh, and playing a track which is gonna like bring the vibe down a little bit but at the same time I know that it was a special moment you know to hear the melody and, and just hear uh, hear the, the arrangement and, and and I think that people caught on that it, that it was a, a new track for me because um, you know people were looking up at me and and they were you know 
they were making uh, gestures that that and pointing at me that it kind of let me know that they they could tell that it was me but um, yeah in the shadows is 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 a track very much uh, in the vein of remember this where the melody is just something special and I hope that the melody is uh, is timeless November would feel so empty if there wasn't a trip to Prague. Fewer events around the world have shaped my career as much as transmission. I continually feel a sense of responsibility to help build awareness of the event to the worldwide audience. Headlining the 10th anniversary was a privilege, but to debut this track in my set was a huge honor. To watch 20,000 people with their hands in the air as I dropped in the shadows for the first time, I'm always going to remember that moment. Hey, what's up? Listen, I'm uh, I'm struggling over here. It, to me, the it, the mix downs just don't sound right. I don't. My ears are are, are are not hearing everything. I'm just. To be honest with you, I'm just not feeling it. It, it doesn't feel right to me. What do you suggest? You know. You know what? I got an idea. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Timmy. Yeah. What's up? Listen. I got an idea. Can you contact um, uh, Space um, and and see if we can get into uh, Space for a sound check? Okay. Anything specific? Well, yeah, I want to um, I want to take the tracks to space and uh, um, just tell them we need the sound system on. Okay. And uh, I think if I want to hear these tracks on the sound system. Okay. Can you I'll check make it that? Happen. Yeah. All right. Be right back. All right. Uh, if I can get into space and um, you know put these on the system there, um, I think that you know I, I I think I'll be able to maybe feel it a little bit better because it's like I can't tell if this is uh, if it's booming and I it needs to sound hot in a club it needs to like rumble and I'm just not feeling it here in the studio right now all right well uh, I'll let you know how um, how everything goes um, but you know I'll just do the best that I can right now we'll see okay thank you hey thank you all right bye before um, I would just do um, whatever it is that, uh, that I wanted and, and, uh, and whatever I felt was inside of me. And, um, you know, uh, people, people liked it. And then you, um, you know, you go through a stage in your career where you press a little bit more. You're trying to, uh, um, I don't know, maybe try too hard. Um, but now I'm, I'm at a point now where I just feel like I'm at peace with myself. Let's run away together in the night. Nothing can stop the love I feel tonight. I know you like it, just give it a try. There's something coming in the air today. So pack your things with me and run away. I wish the worries in you. I just, I just feel very lucky to be part of the whole scene, um, and and I just want to give back to the fans. I, I think I try to um, live every day and show my appreciation every day um, to the fans. Um, and um, at the same time, I like to, I like to know what the fans are talking about and thinking about because I, I consider myself as part of the scene as well. So I spoke to Space. They said we can get you in like right now, though. We would have to leave like right now. All right, all right, let's round up the crew. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You know what I played this weekend? Yeah. I played uh, Scream. You know, <laughs> that's what it's all about, is to be able to go back mm -hmm. six months or one year later and pull out a track from your album and the people still go crazy. I was playing at Space in uh, Ibiza, and all of a sudden I see this little blonde in a, my peripheral vision with a camera like filming me and stuff. And I look over and it's fucking Paris Hilton. <laughs>
I was playing Sleepwalkers. Oh god. Do, 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 and I look over and Paris Hilton's like filming me playing Sleepwalkers. Wow. I'm like, well, this is interesting. That's the hard part. Better than anything. I tweeted it. <laughs> I tweeted, welcome to the trans family, Paris Hilton. <laughs> the whole fucking trans family went ape shit. <laughs> I tell you, I'm, I'm nervous. I, I think I the most people. important thing is there's tracks. All the tracks on the album I play in my live sets. Then it's the most, that's the most important thing. I'm gonna go inside space and uh, turn on the big sound system and uh, do some sound checks. See what these tracks sound like on a big massive system. We are here at Space in Miami on the terrace, ready to do sound check for the Scream 2 artist album. studio to uh, to fix some of this stuff. Shit. All I have is what you give. You know, at the end of my career, I want to look back at at uh, as who I was as an artist through my artist albums. And if you play it safe all the time, I think that um, you know, there's nothing there that just kind of like uh, um, brings back some some uh, some feelings, you know. Sometimes I feel so helpless. How do you avoid hitting that brick wall? Those days where you try to give every last drop of dedication and somehow you still come up short. But that isn't an option. That fuel inside me to be the best never dies, even when seemingly running on empty. anything in my life well you know I wish I could clone myself because I've missed out on um, a lot of you know important uh, moments in, in, in my in my family's life um, you know I'm very lucky that um, my family is supportive um, but at the same time you know it's uh, to be sitting on an airplane on Thanksgiving or sitting on an airplane uh, and flying on on Christmas Day um, you know it, it, it's hard sometimes, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes uh, it gets really lonely out on the road. Um, you know, I spend about 200 days of the year in a hotel room. And, um, you know, it's, I, I think that's the hardest part. And if I could change anything, it would be to try and um, find that balance. You know, I, sometimes I think, um, I don't know, sometimes I, I do miss out on a lot. I know that. And uh, I think that's... You know, but I, I think that's the sacrifice that I make. You know, I, I really feel that this is what I've been put on this planet for. Um, you know, uh, um, it's in my blood, um, and um, yeah, it's uh, this is my life. This is what I do. Life moves so fast. Everyone needs to slow down once in a while and take some time to smell the roses. But I can't. There's always that next thing to accomplish. 
the next big gig, the next big radio show, the next big production, the next huge album. 